We're 3,500 kilometres south of Hobart. That's about as far away as Darwin is from Melbourne. Welcome to Wilkins Runway in remote Antarctica. It's very different from ordinary airports. For a start, this is Australia's only runway made out of blue ice. Because it's on the top of a moving glacier, the runway actually shifts about 12 metres a year. It's only open during the Antarctic summer from October to March. In the winter, it gets too dark and cold. Seven people live and work at Wilkins. Even everyday things are a bit different here. To get water for drinking and washing, three times a day they melt snow in this big heater. And the toilet's also a surprise. Instead of flushing, it gets rid of their waste by burning it. Whenever a plane is coming, they need to clear the runway with a giant snow blower. Then use a grader to push the snow away and level out the ice. And then carve grooves into the ice so the plane's wheels can get enough grip. That's a big job when the runway is more than three kilometres long. Weather can change quickly here, and planes can't land if it's too slippery, too windy, or the cloud layer is too low. The conditions are checked around the clock. Finally, everything is just right. The landing lights are switched on. The airport is open for business. And touchdown. Another successful landing for Australia's main air link, transporting scientists to and from Antarctica, thanks to the hard work of the Wilkins runway crew.